somehow I woke up to my second unintended to wake up to alarm. Hello and welcome to the Daily Think Share. My name is Zach. I'm here to bring to you what I've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about, listening to that I don't have time to teach a math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. So this morning, I did not intend to wake up the time that my, I did. I set two alarms. One was uh, to wake up. Second one was to remind myself to text my mom. Um, and I ended up waking up an hour after I wanted to and leaving half an hour after I wanted to. But that's not really why I'm here to share with you today. A lot of people, this happens to all the time. Every once in a while, you wake up to the wrong alarm. You're like, oh shoot, oh shoot. Throw on some clothes, get going on the road towards work, and you're running late. Now, most people stress out about this. They freak out, they're, they have anxiety all the way on the drive to work. Today, I got like a 55 minute drive, and a lot of people, this, this becomes a problem. They're getting a day off to a bad start and it turns into a snowball effect of anxiety and problems. So here's what I do. I'm gonna wait until I need to gas up and I'm going to text one of the people that is sort of overseeing me or is sort of responsible for me at today's event. And what I'm gonna be doing is just letting them know, hey, I'm running X amount of minutes late. I try to be not necessarily optimistic, probably a little bit more pragmatic, um, probably give them a more realistic time rather than like, you know, some people say, some people in GPS will say if they're 12 minutes late and then they'll say they'll, they're 10 minutes late. But I think that if we are more pragmatic, especially if it's something um, where someone might need to cover us or they might need to cover some information, you have yourself covered and then you can beat expectations by the time you get there. So say you're gonna be 12 minutes late by the GPS, say you're gonna be 15 minutes late, then when you stroll in only 10 minutes late, you are much better off mindset-wise and you're usually much better off with the expectations that, that you've given to the person that you delivered the information to. So, I wish I got to talk about something better on the day after my birthday, but this seemed pretty relevant. So, if you're late out there, what you want to do is communicate. You don't want to sit there in your car driving furiously and having more and more anxiety and worry build up. So many people this happens to. I used to be one of them until I realized I could just communicate, chalk it up as a loss, learn from my mistakes, and understand that I'm human and that humans make mistakes. So, communicate. That's all for today, thank you for watching. If you like this, give it a like. If you want more, subscribe, and stay weird.